Hello, this is Dr. Heidi Horsley, Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here today with Jordan Maraglia. Jordan, and she is also a former student of mine. Jordan, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Jordan Maraglia. I'm a bereavement coordinator and pediatric social worker for Hands of Hope. We are the only pediatric palliative care and hospice program in the state of South Carolina. Wow, and so what population do you work with? We serve ages birth through 21, and our partner company, Hospice Care of South Carolina, takes over from 21 and beyond. Okay, and do you work with grieving children then? Yes, absolutely. We uh, partner with our foundation, the Hospice and Palliative Care Foundation, to put on a grief and bereavement camp twice a year. Um, and what we tried to do was make it child-centered and family-focused. So our main goal is to have curriculum not only for our kiddos, but also for the parents. And that's been just an incredible experience to get to work with them and let them let their hair down and talk about what it's like to be a grieving parent of a grieving child. So if you were to give advice to all the grieving parents that are out there and that are watching this and that are so worried about their kids right now, what would you tell them? I mean, how can they help their kids get through a loss? Um, I think I would say two things. First of which is you're not alone. Um, there are tremendous resources, including Open to Hope, that can help you get connected to other parents who are going through similar things. Use that network. And the second of which is What's most interesting about what we've seen at camp is both parents and children are worried about one another. If you can find a way to open that dialogue and let the grieving be okay, um, we've seen a lot of healing come from that. So I love that. So keep communication open, get your kids some support, and get them around other kids that are grieving so that they know that they're not alone and they can make it and others have been there and so can they. Absolutely. We've heard our parents will say, I'm so worried I don't want to cry in front of my child. And then our partners in the child group say, I'm so worried I don't want to cry in front of my parents. So finding a way to open that dialogue is key. I love it. And Jordan, thank you so much for all you're doing. And it's so great to see you. And this is Dr. Heidi Horsley.